Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today our talk topic is DKA protocol we used in children's called as milk walkie DKA protocol. It's a very simple and very easy protocol we can use in our daily routine. So when the patient is presented to you, first of all you should go for weight. Suppose let's suppose the weight of the patient is 30 kg. 30 kg okay so now we are going toward the fluid estimated so total fluid is equal to maintenance fluid plus deficit fluids so first we calculate the maintenance fluid then we can go for deficit fluid for maintenance fluid for the first 10 kg we multiply by with 100 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000 ml and the next 11 to 20 kg we multiply by with 50 so 50 multiply by 10 is equal to 500 ml and for the next 20 kg we multiply by with 20 suppose 20 into 10 so it is equal to 200 ml so this is our maintenance fluid now let's add up 1000 fluid 500 fluid and 200 fluid is equal to 1700 ml fluid so this is our maintenance fluid so now then we can calculate the deficit fluid for the deficit fluid we can multiply by weight into 85 weight our weight of the patient is 30 kg 30 kg and we multiply by with a constant value 85 is equal to 2550 so the total fluid is equal to 1700 fluid is our maintenance fluid and fluid deficit is 2550 is equal to 4250 ml so this is our total fluid so now how we can transfuse the fluid into the children's so in the first first hour fluid we can multiply the weight into 20 20 is a constant value weight is 30 kg it's a variable so 30 multiplied by 20 is equal to 600 ml so let's suppose if the weight of the patient is 10 10 kg so 10 into 20 is equal to 200 ml so this is our the first hour fluid so in that case we have weight uh, 30 kg so the fluid is 600 ml so next 23rd 23 hours fluid we can subtract the total fluid into first hour fluid 4250 subtracted by the 600 so the remaining fluid is 3650 ml fluid so uh, now we are going toward the how we set the drops per minute so the first hour fluid first hour fluid 3650 divided by, by 23 23 is also a constant value so that uh, is equal to 158 so how we set the drops if we have an infusion infusion drip infusion drip is 1 over 4 burette 1 by 1 and bt set is 1 by 5 in 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 that in, in our setup we use the fluid by infusion or drip set so we divide by by 4 here it is so 158 over 4 is equal to 39 drops per minute so now the next step is infusion insulin infusion for insulin infusion we put 100 units of insulin under 10 hundred cc normal slime in the buret at the rate of weight per minute in our patient we have a weight 30 drops per minute so this is our uh, we can use the infusion of the insulin per minute so now uh, we can change the fluid for the change the fluid we sub we should calculate the rbs hourly for if the rbs is more than 300 mg per dl so we use the half slime and then and next time if the rbs is between 200 and 300 so we use the we change the fluid from half slime plus 5 percent extrose water and if the fluid is uh, between the 150 uh, sorry if the rbs is between the 150 and 200 so we use the uh, uh, slime plus 10 percent dextrose water and if the rbs is less than 150 
we half the drop of the insulin and uh, with half saline of insulin uh, half saline of half saline with 10% dextrose water and this is very important that we should uh, measure or um, monitor the rbs hourly so when we say that the patient is out of dca if the patient is with no vomiting and tco3 is greater than 15 and ph is between 7.35 into 7.45 so this is our protocol thank you so much hope you understand